Hearts versus Tim Hortons. Who did it best? <laughs> Let's dig in. Guys, it's time for some more pumpkin. It's PSL season. PSL. Mm -hmm. Pumpkin everything. <laughs> Hashtag that. All right, today we're going to try the Tim Hortons Pumpkin Spice Latte versus the Starbucks Pumpkin Spice Latte. The ultimate showdown in who has the best, best, best PSL. All right, so which one do you want to try first? Let's do Tim Hortons first. Before we dig into the Tim Hortons, it is $3.29. This is the small, the smallest one you can get. It is, it's tiny, <laughs> it's definitely small. $3.29 <laughs> and 236 calories, if that matters to you. It's PSL, sometimes calories just no matter. If it makes yeah. it taste better, then I'm all for it. I love the smell of it though. You guys traditionally are a pumpkin spice latte I'm not fans, a huge right? pumpkin fan to begin with, so yeah, pumpkin this... spice lattes are not, I am not the target market. This <laughs> is my jam. All right, let's go. Cheers, everybody. That tastes like coffee. Um, Literally tastes like coffee with I... a lot of foam. Doesn't taste anything like pumpkin spice. I get no discernible pumpkin spice flavors at all. Tim Hortons, you doing us dirty. Take the lid dirty. off for a second. Yeah. It's definitely not straight up coffee. There's like foam on top. It tastes like coffee with foam. Tim Hortons is doing us dirty. Maybe I don't. I just don't taste pumpkin spice. It's kind of more like a cappuccino or something. Kind of, but it's really strong coffee. Yeah, I literally like you guys. I taste no pumpkin. At no, all. which is what's like. Hello, that's the point. All yeah, right. I know, I was like, I'm not mine. sure if we got the right drink, to be honest. I don't know. There, there's no way that's a pumpkin spice latte. It has the foam though, so it's some sort of... Well, it could, but I'm saying they have like espressos and right. cappuccinos and stuff like that. So. We did ask for pumpkin spice. They did repeat it back and said pumpkin spice. So, so um, we'll assume it is. they didn't give it to us. But we'll assume. We, for the sake of the video, we have to assume that's what it is. Yeah. Is the Starbucks? Oh my God, you guys! This is even smaller this, than the Tim But Hortons look, smoke. it's not even full. Oh yeah! Oh my I God! Can see when the light is filled up. That's the top to of here. the. Here, maybe it's for the phone. I'm sorry. I don't act shocked. We all know this is coming, but the price for this is four dollars and eighty-five cents. <laughs> this thing had better taste like freaking liquid gold or something for that price. <laughs> and it is two hundred and ten calories because it's half the. Well, it's not really half the size actually, because this is wider though. No, so as I'm saying, it's, the, the Tim Hortons cup is it definitely tw it's bigger for sure. It's got some girth. What? Let's, so that's the extra six, 60 calories between the two. Girth is important. All right, let's dig in. Cheers. Mmm, that's what a pumpkin spice tastes like. Okay, this is creamy, it's pumpkin-y. Yeah. It tastes like a pumpkin spice latte. Yeah. Yeah, like not... night and day difference here. Okay, even though this is a pretty significant difference, at least for me, let's do the sip sip. Sure. <laughs> let's see if sip. we can make this taste like pumpkin. Oh, wow, it's even worse when you're tasting it compared to this one. Yeah, there's no way this is a pumpkin spice latte. That cannot be a pumpkin spice latte. But it has the foam and the like yellowy oh, stuff. It does have the yellowy stuff. Here, let me get a little shot of the yellowy stuff. So it, it has looks like the same yellowy stuff that the Starbucks does. So there's like the the yellowy uh, pumpkin flavoring. And then there's the Starbucks. So Maybe they just really missed on the the pumpkin. Yeah, I mean, shot. if if that is a pumpkin spice latte that Tim Hortons gave us, it. It's missing something. Look, I forgot the pumpkin spice. We all know that Starbucks for big chain restaurants. Starbucks is the master at fall pumpkin spice. They're the spice one that started latte. this whole pumpkin spice nonsense to begin with, isn't it? So <laughs> this is pretty easy, I'm assuming. Yeah. But what's your choice? Starbucks hands down is creamy. It tastes like pumpkin. The Tim Hortons one doesn't even taste like pumpkin spice at all. So Starbucks. Winner. So the price doesn't matter because of the oh, size difference. The price doesn't even matter here. <laughs> what about you? I would just get neither. These are <laughs> pumpkin spice is the worst thing in the world, so I would just get them both. But based on these two, you gotta go with Starbucks because it does taste like pumpkin spice, which is not necessarily a good thing, but it does. And Tim Hortons, I'm not sure what they gave us, but it wasn't a pumpkin spice latte. There's no way. There's no way there's pumpkin spice latte. So <laughs> Tim Hortons, love you. You're Canadian. You have my heart. But this tasted like dirty dishwater, or like. So like, you know, dirty dish water. Yep. This was delicious. If you like pumpkin spice, even for the dollar difference, go to Starbucks because not great. So Starbucks is the clear winner here. By so a country mile. We yeah. have to celebrate Starbucks. Way to Starbucks. go, Starbucks. Get the confetti going. Three for three. Starbucks usually gets crap on the lot. Oh. Well, it's still a terrible drink and it should be 
won't be banned for life, but. Why are you such a pumpkin spice hater? It's, it's no good, it's, I don't know, I don't get it. I don't, it doesn't taste good at all. It tastes like pumpkin pie. I don't like pumpkins, so. I'm gonna make you wear this shirt, <laughs> pumpkin everything. <laughs> About to do a bet for something in a future video, Lou dressed to wear it. We will, Lou <laughs> wears the pumpkin It'll shirt. It'll also be funny because it's a women's shirt. So that would be oh. better. <laughs> nice and form fitting on form me. Wow. <laughs> all right guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys are enjoying our content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and we'll see you in the next one. Here come some bloopers. Steve and Jill, bye, bye guys. guys. Why does the Starbucks ever have fall theme? They have like their Christmas cups. Why don't they have fall cups? That's valid. Probably too short of a season. And it probably would cost them like a billion dollars. Yeah. yeah.